Designs for the replacement of the Snatch Land Rover and new equipment to tackle roadside bombs were some of the highlights on show in London today. Defence Minister Quentin Davis attended a forces protection show at London University OTC. He promised an announcement about procurement in the next few days. Carla Prater reports. From armoured vehicles to body armour, this is some of the most up-to-date kits on the market. And as the Defence Minister Quentin Davis looked round, there was speculation on his plans for procurement, with an announcement about armoured vehicles expected in the next few days. The Warrior and the, uh, and the uh, Scout programmes uh, will have been completed in a year from setting their specifications. That's an absolute record, absolute record for the procurement of a core defence system. The two contenders for the replacement snatch contract were both on display, but not every piece of equipment here is under such secrecy. For those out in theatre, this piece of kit is being developed to tackle IEDs. It's called the Cutlass and will work alongside the Dragon Runner and Wheelbarrow robots currently in use. With its long extendable arm, it offers more flexibility and movement and it will be going into production by the end of the year. The equipment we've got is still absolutely world leading but the new stuff is going to bring more capability, more reliability uh, and it will be more user friendly for today's user. The government is set on capital intensive campaigns and here today there's evidence of where the money is going, a glimpse at the future and also at the kit which currently plays a key role on the front line. Carla Prater, British Forces News, London.